Well, what's up, guys? Today's video is not going to actually be a uh, anything that I'm going to go over specifically to talk about how to do anything. Uh, I want to talk about uh, something that somebody put in comments that they wanted me to kind of elaborate on a little bit. And then I'm going to share something that kind of just dawned on me the other day. And uh, first of all, I want to talk about what uh, the person wanted me to elaborate on, and that was breaks. And how to take breaks, when to take breaks, how does taking breaks work? Well, most of us get two 15-minute breaks a day, and we get a 30-minute lunch break. And uh, personally, I take uh, my lunch break, I take an hour. I try to work that out where I can do that and just kind of skip my two 15-minute breaks because... I have downtime in between doing things sometimes, uh, <clears throat> some days, and so it all works out for the good. Uh, here's one thing that I would say about taking breaks. Uh, you have to work that with, you know, according to your your system, your job, wherever you work, with your boss, whatever they say goes. Uh, but you are, you are deserved breaks, that's for sure. Uh, don't skip your breaks take your breaks nobody cares if you skip your breaks except you you're the one that gets upset about it and gets tore up about it uh i can tell you this it's probably not appreciated by anybody uh if you do uh you deserve those breaks uh because there's no story that goes that there was um there was two guys that were uh going to see who could chop the wood most wood an old timer and a young guy and the uh the young guy he chopped wood and he chopped wood and he chopped wood and he didn't take any breaks at all. Let's say that they had a five hour time that they had to see who could chop the most wood. But the young guy didn't take any any breaks at all. And at the end of the five hours, the old guy had uh, chopped more wood. But the young guy said, I don't understand. I seen you taking breaks and I didn't take any break at all. But you ended up chopping more wood than I did. How's that possible? And the old timer just looked at the young guy and said, well, when I was taking my breaks, I was sharpening my axe. So when you take your breaks, guys, it, it, it gives you a chance to recoup, cool down a few minutes, refresh a few minutes. And uh, I go even further to say that I would uh, even take my holidays, you know, take those vacations, take those holidays when you can, uh, those times off, uh, uh, being with my family is refreshing. And then that's, you know, uh, I work to live, not live to work. So yes, definitely take those breaks. Now, the other day, can't hardly see this broom. Yeah, I'm talking back here. The other day I was cleaning a room and this just came to me. And uh, I, I wrote this down. It's very short. And I'm going to read this right quick. But oftentimes we look at our job and we are like, we feel like we're not appreciated sometimes or what we do when we go back. And I joke all the time about five minutes having to go back and do things again. And so often, so many times we are doing things that feel so helpless, useless, because when we go do something, we do walk by five minutes later, it's a mess. Again, you just check your bathrooms and everything, and you get a call. You're on lunch break, and you get a call, then you have to get up and go take care of an, an overflow commode or something like that. But I was cleaning the room today, and I was just looking at my broom. And of course, this is a brand new broom because I don't want an old junker in my face, but you don't have all the the hair and the lint and everything that was stuck to it. And most people, they use a broom and just throw it back in the closet or just, you know, don't really think about it. But this is really the most important tool that we have as a, in the cleaning industry because I have to use this broom before I go mop a floor. Because if I go mop a floor with dirt and paper and stuff on it, it's, it's going to make a more of a mess. So this broom's really important. But this is what I thought the other day. I said... To most, this is just a broom. To me, it's a paid mortgage, it's food, it's utilities, it's a family vacation, it's health insurance, it's a retirement plan. It's clothes on my back, it's shoes on my feet, it's education for my kids, it's gas for my car. 
is gifts for the people that I care about in my life. So what you do every day is not just a job. What you do has real purpose and meaning. So, to say that, to say this, this job in this broom is all those things, the paid mortgage, the vacations, all of that. So what you do every day is important. So what you do every day counts a lot. My mother owns a beauty shop, and there used to be people coming there, and she'd be given permanents and different things like that. People say, Sue, it stinks in here. She says, it smells like money to me. So I use that a lot. I'm sorry my room's in such a mess. <laughs> Looks like money to me. So what we do is important, guys. When we use that kind of attitude, it just makes the day go better. And uh, so just think about what you do. It's very important. The tools that you use every day, whatever kind of profession you're, profession you're in, whether you work behind a desk or whether you're a truck driver or whatever it is, it brings all these good quality things to you in your life. It makes life enjoyable. So, my custodial friends, it'll get you burned because you know in about five more minutes, it's going to go out there and make you some more money. It's going to give you the things that you really want and you really have to have in this life. See you guys. Y'all have a great day. Take those breaks, okay? Peace out.